So I'm Grandmaster Nick Burtz, I'm the chess teacher at King Edward School. Um, I was first approached by the school about a year ago now. Um, they had a chess club set up, but um, one of the boys is quite interested in chess and his dad um, generously offered to sponsor a Grandmaster to come in and do some chess lessons. So we started off as that and now we've uh, run a competition at the school and now we've progressed onto this event as well. Um, the idea is just to slowly build up chess within the school and improve the image of the school in general, but also promote the game as well. The school is really just a secondary school, so most of the children there are aged over 13, um, but obviously by that stage, in order to become a really top chess player, you already have to have um, some level of ability. Um, but at the moment, there's just a lot of enthusiasm. Um, the, the kids are just enjoying it a lot, and they're just getting a lot stronger, so it's really great to be part of it. And obviously the general sponsorship by the Chilicum family has really helped us have events like this, and hopefully there'll be more events in the future. So we're here with Dima, um, how do you think it's going so far? Well, um, of course I'm winning, <laughs> as usual, and um, I'm only aiming for the win, no draws allowed. Yeah, so it looks like he's taken your knight on C3, is that right? Yeah, it looks like it's so, but, you know, for the long-term effect, we yeah. will need to have some sacrifices. So what's your, what's your plan? What are you going to tell us what your next move is going to be? To take the pawn, and then... Try to win his rook? Yes. Okay. Finishing. And you, you're not afraid of your king being weak, no? No. For now, <laughs> it's fine. Okay, well, he's coming around now, so yeah. I think this is the game he's most worried about. <laughs> Let's see, see if your prediction is correct. Okay, so we're here with Jason Covey, he's the highest rated player in the Civil. Um, how do you think it's going so far? Uh, decently. I think we're still in the looks, looks like you're still in theory, doesn't it? Yeah. Have you run out of theory now, or you still got another move left? Uh, I mean, I have plans that I normally play when I get into a position similar to this. Okay. Do you want to tell us a bit about um, what you think you might do on the next move? Uh, or have we caught you a bad time? I mean... I don't really know, I think he might develop knight c3, try and create play in the center somehow and use the pin on c6. So, what's your move going to be then? Uh, probably bishop e8. Bishop e8, okay, yeah. interesting, yeah. Try and bring the bishop yeah. around to a more active to h5, square. h5, yeah. You just have to always, always be a bit careful of your e6 pawn, don't yeah. you? Yeah. But uh, no, it's interesting, we'll see how that, that develops. Hopefully Obviously, uh, French is a popular opening of mine. If you want to know how to play French better, I've got a chess based DVD on the French. So. <laughs> <laughs> that I have watched. <laughs> Samuel, how do you think it's going so far? 
Um, I think it's going okay. I'm only a pawn down, but it's early game. So. Are you a bit worried about your king? Your king wants to be quite open. Yeah, I haven't had a chance to castle yet. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes against strong players, you don't ever get the chance. Yeah. So do you want to tell us your plan? Have you got a strategy to try and save this position? Yeah, I'm... It actually looks like you're equal on pawns at the moment. But, oh, yeah. um, yeah, yeah, but yeah, you should never count the pawns on the side of the board. Yeah. Yeah, I made that mistake when I was younger. But on position, your main issue seems to be that you haven't actually castled. Yeah. And your, your, your queen's pawn is quite weak as well, isn't it? I'm just going to try and queen trade. Okay, so how, how are you going to do the queen trade, do you think? I know, I think I'm going to take that knight, because sure. that's the only other one attacking my queen pawn. Sure. When you take the knight, how do you think he'll recapture? Um, he's going to recapture with either the pawn or the bishop. He won't recapture with the queen, because then I can just take that knight. Sure, so which one do you think he'll use? Because I mean, taking back with the pawn will... Double up, so he'll take back pawn. with the bishop. He'll take back with the bishop. Yeah. And then what's your plan going to be after he takes back with the bishop? Probably gonna move my queen back yeah, it looks to like self defend. It's, it's quite hard to actually force the queens off here, isn't it? Yeah. But let's yeah. just see see how you get on. Yeah, I, I knew you was gonna do expected, that, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, maybe you can give my fans a quick round of applause who won all these games today. So um, Chessbase have kindly given away um, three prizes which are going to be awarded to the three players who played the best games. You know, who do you think put up the strongest fight against you? Um, well, actually, I think I'm just going to go for the last three games to finish. I okay. think they, they were clearly the uh, toughest one. Jason. Jason, Dio, and Gustav were the and top Gustav, three. Gustav, so... Thank you. Thank you. Um, well, the top board, I mean, I think I was maybe a little better, but it was sort of fluctuating, and then at the end, he dropped a piece. Uh, uh, the board three was just crazy for me because there were these knights and queens were opposed the whole time and it was a very difficult position to make sense of. Uh, I thought I was going to blunder something at some stage. Well, maybe I did blunder something at some stage, but uh, anyway, it, it, was, it was only really when we got to the ending this game was very simple. So it's Jason Covey, well done Jason. Congratulations. It's tough. He's really good. He sees, he sees everything. You have an idea, you have a strategy, you want to make a plan but he he can see your plan before you can which is <laughs> frustrating it was really really fun because even though he's only there a few seconds he does see absolutely everything and he knows he knows your plan and he knows how to stop it so it was exciting and a new experience for me as well so, well th this guy didn't have a very high rating according to uh, according to his name card but he played in a very very solidly and in fact it was only really a one in the end game otherwise he was doing quite well the whole game. He just about held it together all the time and then when we swapped off to an end game I thought it was equal but he obviously knew from quite a few moves before that he had to already win it. I knew I lost a long time after he knew that I was lost. Well for a long time there was not really a lot of chess activity in England full stop but uh, I think now also uh, at the higher level there is clearly a bit more uh, interest but of course it takes a long time when you're starting from a, a kind of a poor base but I think in a few years you'll really see a lot of uh, strong players coming through which is much needed because uh, when you look at the top of the rating list at the moment uh, a lot of the names there are well quite senior players shall we say. <laughs>